last lap in the garden outside so I thought I'd share this recipe with you all it is something I make it is a quick sort of spicy pickle it's the easiest way for me to explain this that I make when I when I have like a nice curry dish I want some heat on the side sometimes pilau when I make a nice chicken pilau or beef pilau or oh I like that salt pigtail pilau as well too but anyhow this is fiery so this is not for the kids number one you need to wear gloves number two even with those gloves on when you're done wash your hands with soap and water I want all you coming back at me with Chris I use the facilities and things burning and all kind of thing. No, I don't want to hear about it because I wound all you. You know what I mean? Very simple. Anyhow, I have, a, I have an assortment of peppers from the garden there. Quite a bit. Well, last lap, as I said, the garden is about to, to go kaput. Winter coming in, the place cold. So whatever pepper I have in the backyard, they're amusing. So these we weary and you'll see them in there. The, the red ones and the green ones, I also have these little orange color ones and funny enough these orange color ones have a bit of a lemon flavor to them and uh, if you are from Trinidad and Tobago we call these coffee pepper um, I don't think there's another name for it but in Guyana we really obviously I have a couple scotch bonnet peppers I'm gonna slice these up and a couple habanero peppers the habanero will have a heat but a fruitiness as well i also have these what looks like bird pepper but it really isn't there's some ripe ones as well here um they've all been washed thoroughly what i'm going to do is give everything a chop the scotch bonnet i'm going to slice and the wee 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 wee's which are tiny little fellas they kick Yo, they pack a punch, boy. I'm just going to cut them in half as well, too. So once you're cutting them, remember, they may want to pop on you as well. So if you have to wear protective eyewear, go ahead and do that. And we've got lemon juice, thinly sliced onion. And you really want, this is the key here, in my humble opinion. This onion is going to take on all those flavors and going to give you, you know, it's all about texture and heat and everything as well. Salt to balance everything, some garlic. And what I have here is just about an inch of a bitter melon or corally that um, I sliced up really thin as well. So just about an inch or so. This is the last of the corally that's in the garden right now. So you notice an assortment of peppers, lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, you can obviously use lime juice. If not, Plain old vinegar will work as well too, but this is something you can make and it doesn't need to sit around. Mind you, the longer it sits around, it will take on different sort of flavor notes as well too. But for now, chop it up and get ready. If you are a fan of heat, of Caribbean sunshine, of fiery things, that there, the smell is just incredible. But again, as I, I mentioned earlier, you really need to wear gloves. I didn't wear gloves. I'm a pepperologist at this point here. It doesn't really bother me, but you never know. Wear gloves, wash your hands with soap and water after. And I've chopped up everything with the habanero and the um, scotch bonnet sliced with the sort of um, bird's eye looking kind of one. I can't remember the name of it, but um has a nice flavor as well lengthwise. And of course, the wee wee wee, I just give them a chop each. Um, just half, it doesn't really matter. To that, we'll add the bitter melon or corally of course we need that garlic in there as well and it's just a rough chop cut a few cloves of garlic um nothing overboard but i just love the garlic flavor and i know many of you who are trinbegonians will want to add your little shadow benny which is culantro in here you can add some chopped culantro or shadow benny it doesn't really matter i just think that it doesn't it's not needed at this point it's not needed we have all these lovely flavors and I don't want it to take away from anything and the reason for the bitter melon or the corally is it's gonna help um, balance everything with the heat the bitterness from that will work with the tartness of and the acidity of the lemon juice that I'm adding in there the salt is gonna act as a neutralizer and just as I mentioned earlier there about the onion um, adding a nice texture to the thing that will take on a nice texture as well pardon me I'm just gonna reach over and all of that thinly sliced onion is going on there now and that onion like I said it is one of those key ingredients I'm just gonna spread it out because once what I'm gonna do it next is sprinkle my salt throughout the entire thing and if you wanted to sprinkle the salt on 
um, it's gonna take some of that that rawness out of the onion if you wanted to sprinkle the salt on and hold off on adding the um, the lemon juice you can do that but for the video sake we're gonna run through everything and then just give it a mix <laughs> sup soldiers listen if you enjoy this recipe I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing if you've made the recipe take a picture and send it to me email address down here I mean trying to tell people the email address then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it and tag me on Instagram at Caribbean pot I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today Irene hi Irene so of course we're gonna hit that with that salt and I'm using sea salt you can use your any of your favorite salt I'm just gonna go with just a tiny bit more of that salt and the last thing we need to do is to pour that lemon juice directly onto everything and that's it you know all you would do now is give that a good mix I have my spoon here oh that lemon man that smells good but and you know as I said earlier you can um, salt everything and let that salt sort of dry cure everything before you add the lemon juice but this here this right here your curry chicken your curry goat whatever it is Yo, whether it's a vegan meal or a meat, a protein, something you're doing, this thing is proper. Now, what I would recommend doing is eating it right away. Now, no joke, joke still. You can enjoy this right away, no problem. And this is why I said it's a quick sort of pickle. I would give it about 20 minutes just to soak in all those flavors. Make sure you give it a good mix though. Eh? And um, the remainder, put it in a glass container and you can store it in the fridge for up to, yo man, that lemon juice in there will cure this. It will preserve it without having the, the use for any sort of preservatives you can't pronounce and spell and thing like that. But in a glass container, in the fridge, a couple months and you're good. But I assure you, I assure you, and even the liquid boil, I like to drizz, 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 drizzle that onto my pillow. Gosh, my mouth works. And then we're going to organize a real dish here now. Eh? But anyhow, I do hope you all get an opportunity to give this one a try. Just look at that niceness now. Just look at that. It's just proper. Look at the colors and everything else. And again, all kind of different layers of heat from the three, ty four types of peppers that we use in there. I kid you not. I keep having to adjust this because I'm going back to my prime lens and I'm not accustomed to using it. It's been a while. <laughs> 